Okay, welcome onto my computer. Um, as you can see, I've loaded up the Google home page, um, and you'll be doing the same thing when you begin to search for uh, directories in which to list your business. And not just directories, um, as, as we've covered previously already, you want to get as many citations as possible from local, national, industry specific directories and classified directories, as well, of course, as local or industry specific blogs, forums, review sites. Um, Essentially, uh, it's anywhere you can get your business mentioned that will include the business name, uh, your address and phone number details as a bare minimum. Um, and tho those, those bits of information dotted around the web will serve to um, prove to Google that you are who you are who you say you are, what you say you are and where you say you are um, and Google will use those citations to improve the rank of your places page. Okay. Now, the easiest way to start out is just to search Google for what you're looking for. So in this case, we're looking for driving instructor directories. Now, I'm going to delve in and I'm going to make a, a, a new directory entry um, for an instructor that we've, we've done some work with recently. Um, I just as a good opportunity now to point out just how much local search results are starting to affect even general terms like this driving instructor directories there's nothing that um, points towards a location um, within that search term and yet you know Google here you see on the left hand side I'm based in Peterborough at the moment and I've got my location in Google set to Peterborough in the UK and Google is already um, starting to return results even though I haven't asked excuse me I've just moved my frame by accident there let's just bring that back even though I haven't asked Google uh, to return local results I haven't put my city at the end of this um, this search term it's still re producing this result here at the top of the paid ads that mentions Peterborough we've got this ad here in the paid ads that mentions Peterborough um, you'll also see actually that Hemel Hempstead and St Albans are getting mentioned a little bit um, that's because some of the work I've been doing recently uh, is for a driving instructor in St Albans and the Google Google um, has actually picked up on those kind of terms that I'm using in my search so it doesn't just pick up your own location it also picks up other locations that you might regularly search in now um, at the moment this service is slightly limited in the UK as compared to the states because Google is obviously a stateside company it concentrates its developments there and then spreads them out to the rest of the world um, and in the states this is even more apparent now that it's going to get more important over here and you won't have to put driving instructor Peterborough or wherever you are into Google for it to automatically return results that include that location specific entry I just thought it's worth mentioning, mentioning there because it really does reinforce the importance of the local element um, of Google search and that you should focus the majority of your efforts on that. Now we've listed in quite a lot of driving schools through here. Um, one we haven't on yet is search to drive and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do the entry there to demonstrate but you can see um, that some of the general indexes I mentioned are here like freeindex.co.uk there are specific ones driving hyphen schools hyphen directory.co.uk and many more um, the first page is full of directories and I'm sure there are many directories as you delve further through now you want to list with as many of those as possible um, you're not going to be able to list with absolutely every single one that's displayed here simply because some of of them require you to do something like place a reciprocal link now obviously you can do that on your site but you might not know how to do that um, yet and you indeed might not have a website yet um, now obviously if you can place those links on your site yourself then by all means use the directories um, that require a reciprocal link which just means uh, a directory is obviously giving a you a link um, to your site from theirs and they just want one back from your site um, so you know if you know how to do that do it if not don't worry and um, there are more than enough directories forums review sites um, and so on for you to make enough citations without having to worry about the ones that need you to link back anyway um, let's click on search to drive.com and this is about the standard thing that you will see uh, when you click through um, to a driving directory site um, advertisement much about wh who they are and what they do and there's lots of different options um, either up here in the main search bar uh, or 
down here in the main text uh, further down than that in fact here we go or down here in the main text uh, there might be you, you'll see the opportunity to get yourself a listing um, now unfortunately these sites aren't necessarily always uh, designed in the most um, practical and functional way um, so you might have to do a little bit of searching about to find that listing but anyway you'll see somewhere around there's driving instruction driving instructors can register or get a free listing excuse me so I'm just going to click on free listing now so we can go in and make this entry now the name of the school that we've been working with recently is learn to drive St Albans and if I just pop that in in fact if I uh, da, da, da. Sorry, excuse me, I'm just trying to get the form to autofill the address details and it's not going to now because I've already selected the other one. Okay, never mind, so I'm going to have to fill all these details in. Um, once you've done a few entries, if you've got um, an autofill or something like that on your um, on your browser, you, you just have to start typing and it'll fill in the rest of the details for you. So, once you've done one, it actually becomes much easier to go on and do many triple five four nine oh I think oh one seven two seven triple five four nine oh let's just check that's right yeah it is okay and as you see I would have to enter email address and web address here but it's already been populated um, we flick through to the next page now depending on which directory you're listing in they might ask for a whole bunch of information about you and um, some of this can be useful or not you might want or might not want to promote your lesson prices you might want people to call you and ask about them um, you might want to promote the fact that you can help disabled drivers or that you're from a particular race or religious background if you think that you're you're targeting a particular niche of customers or again languages there I mean if you're targeting people that aren't speaking English as a first language and there's a whole load of information actually in this entry I don't want to fill in all that information you can fill in all that information and obviously it helps if someone comes through to this directory um, and searches for your business the more information that's on here about your business the better but I'm not necessarily relying on search to drive dot com to provide all my traffic so I don't think I need to provide them with all my details at this point so I'm just going to click right through um, oh apparently it's going to block me because I need to put in the cost of a single lesson let's just check what that is with Paul uh, 23 pounds for an hour with discount on block booking which is a sensible policy um, let's hope it doesn't ask me for any more information than that so I click through nope and no I don't I don't need any more information than that it's offering me the opportunity here to either pay for a listing or to get a free listing now again you can pay for listings and on some sites that's beneficial they'll push you um, you know they'll push you on their main pages that they, they might give you uh, advertising space within that um, you, you may get some preferential treatment for the vast majority 99% of directories it's not worth the time um, or money to spend you know to spend that money for directory entries and to spend the time putting all your details on because really um, these sites aren't necessarily driving a lot of traffic to you you've got your own either website or places page hopefully a website because you really need to get one sorted out but at the very least a places page that you can use to convert people into business so I'm gonna go for the free entry and as you see it says here this only shows your business name address and contact number anyway so I've saved myself the time of filling in all those other details that they asked for because I'm not going to ask them to use them anyway um, obviously it does want to know my location country is England County St Albans is Hertfordshire and the council will be St Albans City and District so let's add that um, and then that's one region additional regions are apparently £10 each I think Hertfordshire and St Albans City and District covers um, the general area that, that Paul serves we don't want any more information at this point So, the registration is complete, the information has been sent to the database and obviously they'll review that data and add it to their site at some point um, over the next few days or weeks. And it can take days or weeks for your entry to appear in the directories. With almost all of these entries, you'll get a confirmation email um, letting you know where you've registered. Um, and you know that your your registration is pending but at some point that information will appear and uh, and that will be counted by Google as a t as a citation on an industry specific directory 
Okay, and as I say, it's the same process whether you're registering on industry-specific directories, location-specific directories, um, national, general directories, or indeed the classifiers. It should all be the same, but you need to repeat this process um, you know, as many times as you can to build up the strength of your Google Places page and so that it ranks above your competitors. Okay, I hope that helps you and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Speak soon.